After enduring the profound spiritual crisis known as the dark night of the soul, you emerge as someone completely transformed, no longer the person who once navigated life with a familiar sense of identity. You have been dismantled, stripped down to your very core, leaving you with nothing but the raw truth of your existence. This journey dismantles the illusions, defenses and stories you once clung to, leaving you exposed before the abyss of your being. Yet, what follows this harrowing descent is not an immediate return to the light, as you might expect. Instead, it is a slow, often painful process of rebuilding, where each fragment of your shattered soul is carefully examined, understood, and pieced back together with deliberate care. This is the path through the eight stages you inevitably face after the dark night of the soul, a journey just as crucial as the descent, as it shapes the person you are becoming. In the early phase after emerging from the dark night, you stand before the remnants of your former self. The mirror moment comes uninvited and unavoidable, where you confront the reflection of someone you no longer recognize. The eyes staring back at you are hollow, haunted by past ghosts, yet within them burns a faint spark of determination. This is the point where you realize you can no longer allow the shadows of your past to continue haunting your present. With a surge of newfound strength, you declare that enough is enough. It's as though a spell has been lifted, freeing you from the grasp of the past. You start to gather the fragments of your soul, piece by piece, with quiet resolve. No longer will you hide from the world in self-imposed exile. You step out of the darkness, ready to face the world anew even though the scars of your past still linger. As you emerge from the shadows, you enter the stage of rebirth, where the flames of transformation continue to burn within. This is not a gentle resurrection, but a fiery ordeal where your soul is engulfed by the intensity of your inner turmoil. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes, but the process is anything but serene. The heat of your unresolved emotions, unfulfilled desires, and lingering fears consumes you, pushing you to confront the aspects of yourself you've long ignored. You realize that to continue on this journey, you must take bold action. You force yourself to engage in practices that nurture your body and soul, even when every fiber of your being resists. You push yourself to release vices and habits that no longer serve you, despite their temporary comfort. This stage demands discipline as you forge a new path through the flames of your inner conflict, emerging stronger for it. However, as you begin the process of rebuilding, you soon find yourself in a state of dissatisfaction. Here, nothing seems to satisfy, and everything that once brought you pleasure now feels empty and devoid of meaning. Relationships that once brought joy now feel hollow, and pursuits that once excited you now seem trivial. It's as if you're drinking from a well of salt water, where each sip only leaves you thirstier. In this place of discontent, you're forced to confront the reality that fulfillment cannot be found in external sources. You begin to understand that happiness and contentment aren't things you can chase. They arise when you shift your focus from seeking to giving. This realization is profound, as it teaches you that true satisfaction comes not from what you receive, but from what you contribute to the world and those around you. As you continue navigating this new reality, you experience what feels like a glitch in the matrix. Your actions and thoughts diverge sharply from those of your former self. You begin to forgive those who've wronged you, not out of obligation, but from a deep understanding of the liberating power of forgiveness. You start giving without expecting anything in return, embracing the paradox that in letting go of attachment to outcomes, you gain everything. Your consciousness expands, intertwining with the fabric of reality in ways you never imagined. This expansion of awareness creates ripples in your life, subtly yet profoundly altering your destiny. The internal changes you make begin to manifest in the world around you, making you wonder if you are, in fact, reshaping your reality. Yet, despite the visible fruits of your inner work, you find yourself living a double life. On the surface, you appear the same to those around you. You continue interacting with family, friends, and colleagues in familiar ways, going through the motions of daily life. But beneath this exterior, a profound transformation is unfolding. 
You are awakening spiritually, and the truths you now see so clearly aren't easily shared with those who haven't walked the same path. You choose to keep your awakening a secret, not out of fear but out of a desire to protect the fragile new growth within you. Still, those close to you sense the shift. They may not fully understand it, but they notice that you are no longer the person you once were. You have transformed from a source of turmoil and discord into one of calm and resolution. This change does not go unnoticed. Inevitably, your transformation cannot remain hidden forever. As you fully embrace your new self, you enter what can be described as the damaged fruit season. In this phase, the shifts within you provoke envy and resentment from those who have yet to embark on their own journeys of transformation. Individuals who once considered you a friend now distance themselves, unable to reconcile the new you with the old. They perceive you as damaged fruit, something that no longer fits into the boxes they had constructed for you. This rejection is painful, especially coming from those you once cherished, but it serves as a powerful reminder that not everyone will accompany you on your journey. Some will fall away, leaving you feeling isolated and alone. Yet in this loneliness, you discover strength. It is in the absence of external validation that you truly begin to know and value yourself. As you come to terms with this solitude, you enter the Eukalo period, a time when the world around you starts to unfold in unexpected ways. It's akin to arriving at a summer camp where you know no one. Initially, you may feel awkward and out of place, but as you gradually release your need for external approval, you start to connect with others on a deeper level. The people you attract during this time are not those you would have chosen in the past, yet they resonate with the person you are becoming. These connections are not superficial. They are profound and meaningful, often leading to friendships and relationships that deeply support your new path. In this stage, you find a sense of belonging that is rooted in being genuinely seen and understood for who you are. Finally, as you settle into this new way of being, you step into what can only be described as the twilight zone. Your life becomes filled with synchronicities, signs, and moments of serendipity that defy logical explanation. Everything seems to unfold at an accelerated pace, and you often feel as if you're standing on the edge of a precipice, unsure of what the next moment may bring. This experience can be both exhilarating and terrifying, as the boundaries between dreams and reality begin to blur. The things you once deemed impossible now appear within reach. Yet, with this newfound power comes the responsibility to choose wisely where you direct your attention, for during this stage, the power of manifestation is strong, and what you envision can quickly become your reality, whether for better or worse. After navigating these eight stages, you find yourself in a place of greater clarity and understanding. You are no longer the person you once were, and the journey you have undertaken has fundamentally changed you. However, this change brings with it the need to actualize your value in the world, applying the lessons you've learned in every aspect of your life. You realize that your worth is not dictated by external measures, but by the richness of your experiences and the depth of your understanding. The dark night of the soul was not an end, but rather a beginning, a crucible that has forged you into something more resilient, compassionate, and attuned to the mysteries of life. As you move forward, you carry with you the knowledge that you have faced the darkness and emerged stronger, ready to embrace whatever comes next with an open heart and a fearless spirit. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to Stoicism Stoic and like and share.